Hello everyone, yes, it's about that time. Yes, the holidays are approaching and I have some new dishes to share with you all. So y'all stay tuned for my new holiday recipes. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Y'all, today is my birthday, yes. I'm not gonna tell y'all how old I am. But today is my birthday, and I'm gonna share a new dessert with you all. Okay, here are my ingredients. Okay, as y'all can see, I have some a classic carrot cake uh, mix. I have some caramel. I have some whipped topping, some walnut pieces, some cream cheese, some jello instant pudding, the vanilla flavor, and I have some milk. And y'all, those are my simple ingredients. And I'm going to go by the cake recipe. You know it needs eggs and all that. But I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I make it. I'm making a carrot cake trifle, and I wanted to share it with everyone for my birthday. So let's get to making our carrot cake trifle. Okay, in this cup, there's some hot water. I got some hot water in here. And I'm preparing my carrots and raisin. And I'm gonna let those sit in there for five minutes. Okay, here I'm adding my cake mix. My butter. I always add butter instead of the oil, but it's up to you if you wanna use the butter or the oil. Now I'm adding my eggs. Now I'm adding my carrots and raisins. Okay, mix this around here, let's get going. We're gonna mix this up. can see as y'all can see I have prepared my my pan for my cake mix okay smooth that around in there And I already have my oven preheated at 350 degree, degrees. And I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all, just taking my cake out of the oven. I'm going to let this cool. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on a rack. I'm going to take it out of this pan and put it in a on a rack and so it can cool. And while I'm letting that cool, I'm gonna make my filling and I'll be right back. Okay, I have removed my cake out of the pan and I'm gonna let this cool. I'm gonna let it cool at least 30 minutes or where I can get it to cut, okay? In my bowl, I'm adding one package of softened cream cheese. I'm going to mix this around until it's very creamy, okay?
Here I'm adding my milk. my pudding, my instant pudding, mix this. Now as y'all can see, it has turned into a pudding. Here I'm adding my Cool Whip. I'm gonna fold that in. I'm gonna fold this in till I into our pudding. We're gonna fold this into our pudding. Y'all, it smells so good in here. It's, you can smell all the spices from the cake. All that cinnamon and what have you in there. It smells so delicious. It smells so good. I'm going to finish mixing this. I'm going to be right back. Here, I'm taking my cake off the rack. Now I'm going to cut this. Into little chunks. And I'm going to keep cutting this in, into my chunks. We're not going to use all of this. I'm going to let y'all know we're not going to use all of this cake. And I know my grandkids will be happy about that. Okay. I'm going to cut it this way as well. Now I'm going to put my dessert together. Okay, this is what you do. You add your pieces of carrot cake down at the bottom. Just add them, y'all. They don't have to be perfect. Adding my pudding. You spread that around in there to your desired thickness. Now adding some of my walnuts. If you want finer pieces, you may cut them into finer pieces. I prefer mine this size. 
Now I'm adding some more on my cake. Y'all, I wish y'all could smell this. One more piece I'm going to slide in there. Now I'm adding my, the remainder of my pudding. spread this around. Y'all see how it looks in there? This is the time when you wipe off any excess pudding. Now I'm gonna pour in my remainder, the remainder of the whipped topping. Here, I'm going to sprinkle the rest of my walnuts all around there, y'all. Now I'm adding my caramel. Okay, this is my carrot cake truffle. I hope y'all enjoy it too. Hope y'all enjoy this recipe. I am so blessed to see another birthday. And I just wanted to share this dessert. I try to do this every year. Try to share each and every one of my desserts that I have for my birthday that I make myself. But I just wanted to share this dessert with you. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm getting ready to close. I am so blessed to have y'all. As y'all can see, I have more cake back there that I'm not using. If you want to use more, you can double or triple this recipe and do it in a punch bowl. You know, some of those punch, those cake pans, they're clear that you can make a big one in a cake pan that you can turn upside down. You know the glass one. I know somebody know what I'm talking about. But if you want to make a bigger one, you can double this recipe and make it, you know, make a bigger one, okay? All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to close. I got up early so I can show y'all how to make this dessert. 
this would be a very, very delicious dessert for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any special day. Like I'm using this one for my birthday. Okay, y'all. I'm going to share with y'all my cake. I'm going to plate up some for you just to show y'all how this turned out. y'all enjoy this recipe and I'm gonna say again for real y'all thank y'all for all y'all birthday wishes and I'm gonna say again y'all have a blessed day and bye bye for now We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.